Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Lens Island, shall we? Well, um, I'm back here in the dungeon, and I'm ready to try to make some progress. And see what we can find. Let's see. I went this way before under the waterfall. And let's keep going this way. I had did, done a save on exit, and I think I was here. Um, ooh, this has stuff in it. But um, when I did save on exit, uh, it started me back at the beginning of the dungeon. So I'm just kind of getting back to where I was, and no problem. There it is. There it is. All right, let's pull out the torch. And can I break any of this stuff? Nah. Nope. Okay. That's a long way down. Um, let's light it. Ooh, it takes five to light it, but it produces a massive amount of light. Wow. Yeah, the lighting is so awesome in this game. And we'll get some blueberries. Always need food. And here comes a bad guy. So we're going to give it the old uh, spin attack. Oh, it didn't die. I thought it was dead. <laughs> I just stood there and took it in the face because I wasn't attacking. That's embarrassing. All right. And let's see. Okay, here comes another bad guy. There we go. The spin attack is so good. All right, we got some more shrooms. I'm going to jump up here. And another amazing looking waterfall. It's fantastic. It really is. Now here comes a bad guy. So let's give the old uh, special attack. And then I'm just going to run. And then... Oh, I did my special attack the wrong way. There we go. Luckily the enemies aren't like... They're not super nasty right now. I mean, these are early enemies, thankfully. And I'm going to go ahead and put my torch away and just go get all this metal. There we go. And we have a ton. Okay, so we have 90 stone and a bunch of metal, which is just tremendous. I'm going to get my sword out just in case. And we're kind of uh, coming on to something interesting, I'm going to light this. I like to light everything, not only because it looks great and it, it's helpful. It just reminds me of like where I've been. I missed a whole section to the upper right that I might want to check out. There you go. In your face. Yeah, that guy just missed, which is fortunate for me. Uh, we're getting some good experience from these guys, too. All right. If this is a boss, I'm terrified. I'm not ready for anything even remotely resembling that, but I will light everything that I can. So, uh, oh, um, I can build a bridge. I'll build it. Like, why not? Wow, what a cool effect. All right, I'm, before I go cross that bridge, though, I want to see what's all this. All right, there is... Oh, this is just looping back to where I was. Boy, I don't know how I missed all this before. That's just um, poor searching on my part that I didn't notice that you could go south, but there's so many different ways that you can go. So now let's just walk this way and see what we've done. Oh boy, it's a guy. Let's do the old one too. All right, just clobber these dudes. And the Void Hunter got some achievement progress. And we'll just kind of sneak through. And we did take some damage. I'm going to eat a little watermelon. I'm sorry, pumpkin. Which, just biting into raw pumpkin, mmm, not my favorite, but, you know, when you're hungry, is this a, and it's like, I thought this was like an elevator, or you could climb down it, but it appears just to be some kind of scaffold um, for someone to stand on, maybe, I don't know. Alright, so here's some stuff. Uh, light it up. All right, here's a bad guy nest. All 
There we go. Luckily, things don't do a ton of damage, which is very kind of the game. Right? They could make this combat really, really hard if they wanted to, and I hope that they don't. Now, there's some coins up here that I obviously want to get, but I need to kind of go that way to do it. And before I go that way, I'm just going to... Um, I should probably be doing that more in combat. I'm going to see what was over here. Man. Yeah, it's hard for me to... Uh, I wish I had some kind of mini-map. It's really hard for me spatially to keep track of all this. Um, okay, there's a bad guy, Nest. All right, we got it. And here's a big boy. Oh, here's two big boys. Ooh, there's a big boy bad guy nest. I just made that up, by the way. That's the technical term. All right, let's get all this stuff. Okay, I need to just kind of charge ahead. And... All right, cool. You, if you're comboing with your weapon, you're just doing a, a lot of damage. And luckily, they don't hit that hard. All right, so let's go check out the level up screen. So now I have two skill points. So now it's like a legitimate question. Like, do I want to level up my damage? And I really don't. Um, but I am okay with leveling up my health. This will just help me survive a little bit better. I was going to do resources, but... Um, and I'm still thinking about that for the future. Uh, you can combo with the torch out. I don't know why I thought you couldn't. It, You know what it is? It's that the lighting of the timing window when you need to hit is covered up by the torch, or it's at least obscured by it. So I kind of thought that it was obviating it, but it's not. So no need to put your torch away. I was just doing that foolishly. As I do things. That's just my way. a bunch of stone which is great let's kind of curl around here there's some shrooms let's just get these babies you never know when you're going to need shrooms let's not fall off i don't know how much damage you take when you fall off but that's never usually something you want to just find out all right my goodness this just keeps going on and on and on there's a lot of stuff here so it makes me think like i'm getting close to boss land and I don't want to be in boss land. I'm not anywhere near prepared for that. I killed that guy with, like, my back strike. That's how that went. Hmm. Alright. I'm just gonna sally forth and just accept the fact that I'm probably missing some important things. But I love the experience that I'm getting here. The game is very good about, look, it gave you some more food, just in case you were running low on your, you know, your health and everything. I'm gonna eat. And we will try to light this. I have enough. Great. And we got more metal. Now, there's a magical field blocking me from going down this way. Either that or it's one of those things where it's like, you, um, yeah, you can't come out. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, we're going to find out what happens if you, oops, die in this game. That should be interesting. Okay. Um, well, we didn't die immediately. Alright, I gotta kill this. Oh boy, I did that the wrong way. Alright, let me just kind of jump ahead of him. 
And all right. Ow. Okay. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh boy. Mmm, this is getting perilous. Okay. And... Man, how about that? That was really scary. I luckily survived. That extra health that I took when I leveled up was critical right there. Alright, let's go ahead and eat some berries then. I'm just going to drag these down to my, my bar and eat up. There we go. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alright, we're almost fifth level. So that was a boss. I, I wasn't sure if that blue field was like, you can't come through here, or... Um, you can't return. And it was a you can't return. Oh, there's a person here. Look at this. Who are you? Jared the blacksmith. Hello, I've been trapped down here for weeks. You cleared out all the voidlings. Thank you. They are nasty creatures. Now the coast is clear. I can quickly escape back to Bridgewater. If you can help me build a house, I'll set up my blacksmith shop in Bridgewater. I'll even give you a great deal on your first purchase. Great. Well, that's fantastic. Um, what's this? Old note, the caves are overrun. I'm not sure if I'll last the night. The void beasts are everywhere. There's no escape. Interesting. All right, I'll pick up all this coal. That's great. So you could probably light that. Um, and can I break anything else? Or what, what's down here? Um, interesting. What is this? Uh, I got a bunch of money. Okay, money is good. Um, man, this is fiber, sure, mushrooms, okay. Take the shrooms. Take the shrooms and run. Um, let's see. Leveled up by breaking some bushes. That's how I do things. All right, let me see if there is a... I have one skill point. Which I could put into this, or I could reduce my hunger, um, but I think I'm going to save it up. Now, what is this? Warp. Warp where? Back to the teleporter that we found earlier? That's my guess, but I don't know if that's even legitimate or not. Okay. No, it just warped out of the dungeon. And that means I'll have to go back in, unfortunately. But maybe I can warp back. No, there's a there's something here, but I can't use this. Um, what does the map say? The map says... Oh, here's... A, it's telling me where another dungeon is. Like, way over there. Wow, how cool is that? Alright. Well, we've got to go a long way. That's cool. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to put my torch away. And let's run home. And let's, like, upgrade all our tools and just get into the business of upgrading the town. So we explored the dungeon pretty well. I knew there was a lot that I left uh, behind. But for now... Oh, okay. I think I'm good to try to move in the florist, some of the other people in the town, level up the town, get a backpack, maybe buy something from Jared, all the good stuff. Oh my god, the crabs have taken over my chest. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Let's go to my workbench. Let's just run away. And um, I would like a um, better pickaxe, right? Heck yeah. And um, we want the fishing pole, but uh, we don't have it. So here's the item collection. Upgrade to level one. Oh, you can upgrade the workbench itself. And I have the gears to do that. I just need the wood. Okay. Um, sweet. There's rare, epic, ancient. Oh, this is really cool. All right, great. 
Uh, let me go here and let me replace my um, pickaxe with my better one. So now, um, at this point, I've, you know, I've got everything except the fishing pole. And we can go down and just get some wood by doing our thing. Great. That's 10 damage, baby. Oh my god, I hurt myself. And I don't know if that was bees or the tree fell on me. It's probably both. It's the bees. My god, man, the bees. Sweet. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to check out... Um, I want to upgrade... Uh, oh, you have a utility box under your workbench. You don't have to keep going out there. That's cool. Okay, um, I want to upgrade this. I did it. And now we can build a whole bunch of things. Signpost, wooden fence, lattice farm. Awesome. Look at this. Um, so I could build um, a hammer. I could make a shield. It's got a different special attack. Fishing pole. Great. Well, how about that? Alright, so I'm back after a little break, and we are doing beautifully in the sense that we've upgraded, you know, so many of our tools. Now, if I push tab to go into my backpack, I also have some new things I can build, which is a fireplace, um, a smelter, and even a boat. So, I mean, look how cool this is. Set sail for adventure. What a fun concept. And that's going to be, obviously, um, how we get to wherever this is, right? We're going to need to be sailing the seas. So, you know, it says island in the name, but sometimes you don't know if that means you're stuck on the island or what it is. But we're going to be sailing around. Um, and maybe this town will be our base of operations It'll be cool if we can move into the town at some point. Um, maybe I already can, but just don't understand how. But that's fantastic. And what else do I have? I can build a lattice uh, for vines. Oh, man, I love lattices. Trellises, lattices, all of it. And here's a wooden fence. And I can build a sign to get directions. Now, I was noticing that to upgrade my workbench, I'm going to need iron bars or whatever kind of metal bars we've got steel I'm not sure what we making but um that's i didn't know how to get those and now i do a smelter so i need um i need all this stuff i don't have it i have everything on the top row i have nothing on the second i didn't make um an awesome wood pile or stone pile yet because i've never been in the business of having an excess of those things but I am loving the curve. Like, at first I didn't think this game was that deep. It just didn't, you know, it seemed like, okay. And then now it's like, oh, wow, there's so much to do. I didn't know how involved the dungeoneering. Now there's, uh, you know, nautical exploration. There's town building, skill tree. Just awesome. All right, so that is not what I meant to do. Let's go this way. Uh, what is this on the beach? Can I pick these up? Not really. Okay, so we got to get people into the town. So I'm going to just take advantage of my new axe and such. Yeah, it looks like three hits. Four for a bigger one. Now that drops... Let's see how many that drops. I'm at 27. So each segment is five wood. All right. And now, but I get, I should be getting a 10% bonus, but I don't know if that's applied for the whole tree or for um, each, like, let's see, I'm at 67 and I'm just going to pick up what would be 20. 
Yeah, but you see how I went to 81 from 67? So each one is 5, but then at some point in the calculation, they add on your collection bonus, right? So I'm at 81, and I'm about to pick up 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, um, but 10% should be 22, so I should be going to 103, is that right? Um... 81 plus 20 would be 101 plus 2. I only went up to 97. So I don't know if I miscalculated or... Let me try this again. Did I only get credit for three logs? All right, let's look where I'm at. I am at 97. Oh, I'm going to max out. So it's not a good time to calculate. You know what I can do, though? I can build that aforementioned um, wood pile. Oh, but you can't run while you're trying to build. Now, I don't know why I'd want to build, put this over by my house, but it seems funny. Um, okay, my house is actually over here. I'm just going to do it just to do it. And I don't know if you get experience for building stuff in this game or how that works. Um, I'm going to put it right against my house. Okay. And I'm going to close that and close that. We need to eat. And so I can just stack wood here. Now, this would only be convenient in this situation. All right. Now, let's do this again. I am at 60 wood, and I'm about to pick up three, five... 8, 11. Okay. I think I completely misunderstood. I, th I just assumed I was getting 5 for each section. Maybe... I don't know if it varies for each section. Let's see. I got 5. Yeah, because there's a 5. There's another 5. And there's a 10 and a 12. Um... I don't know if it depends on the size of the tree or if there's just a random... You know, random chance for each one. I'm going to put some wood back here. I'm going to go into the town and start building stuff. So you click on the empty space, and um, I'm going to click, and it goes in by fives, and I'm just going to put in 25 right there. You can see it gradually fills up, too, graphically. That's awesome. I'm going to pick up these logs over here, and I'm not going to worry too much about the math. I'm just going to say I'm getting more than normal. And I'm chopping it down faster than I was before, so it's all good. And then here come the bees, which are my nightmares. Let's eat a bunch of berries. Yeah, we do, we definitely need to learn how to fish. So let's go do that. Let's go to the town. Um, how much rock do I have? I actually have a decent amount. What about clay? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not doing too badly. I like to run into the town carrying an axe. So everyone knows. Alright. So let me then... He said he'd be by the docks, which... Oh, maybe this is where the blacksmith wants to move in. Oh yeah, there's like another weapon rack where you can, you know, practice, train, and stuff like that. Let me look, did I get another... I have a plot of land down here. Um, what's this? That's interesting. Oh my god, I fell into the water. I was, like, not paying attention. Alright. There's a well. There's, like, an outpost or a watchtower or something. And this is... We need a bed and a building here. Okay. So let's do it. Music is so chill. Um, I'm going to move the camera around. I like this top-down perspective better. There you go. Now, I'm going to build this person a window. There's no reason to do it, and it's taking my precious resources, but it just looks better.
I mean, I could even build them a circular window just for... Look how sweet that is. Now I'm out of wood, but that's okay. We can easily get more wood. I am stuck in this house. That's not okay. All right, so I have... Um, okay, I made it. I was momentarily trapped. We need to get more wood so we can build stairs and all the rest of it. But there's trees right here. Clay, too. Man, I crushed that. I feel like a new man with all these tools. Uh oh, night is approaching. All right. Let's run to the town. And we can come in here and we can just build um, a bed. there and then we'll go over here and we can build you know a final wall and maybe some roofing and we need more what wood yeah getting there I can move somebody in here though I could get Jared or I could get Steph and I know I want both of these people um, but I want to make I'm going to get the money from Steph, and then we'll move in. Um, Steph's shop is available. Sweet. Here she is. Hey, thanks for building me a home. After I'm finished moving you in, you can find me at my flower shop. That's uh, great. I will find you at your flower shop. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to double check the town and just make sure that there isn't another plot. I might have to upgrade it again before I get that plot. And, it, you know, it could be argued that it was a mistake to not move in the blacksmith because he's going to help me proceed in the dungeons. But at the same time, uh, I do like the idea of having gardening, you know, getting closer to be online. We need to just gather more wood, more resources, and I want that bigger backpack so I can carry more wood around, and we need money to do that. I only have 29 money, so let's, uh, we can sell flowers, right, to make some cash, and that's going to be our game plan. Sell the flowers, make the cash, timber. Yeah, it's always dumb to uh, chop it down like that, but hey, it happens. All right, and let's go ahead and step into our little house and take a nap. Look at what set bed does. Oh, you can just set bed to save the game. That's cool. All right, well, everyone, I think we've made amazing progress so far. So we, um, you know, cleared the dungeon. We're working on moving people into the town. We upgraded a ton of our tools and we built the woodshed. We've got, uh, you know, just a good arc of things that we can do, new buildings that we can build. And we'll get into that next time. Everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And also, um, the developer of the game was kind enough to give our channel some keys to Lens Island. So if you're liking this game, um, I'm going to be giving away three keys uh, on December 30th in a raffle to any YouTube channel member, Patreon patron, or um, Twitch subscriber. So if you're any of those things, you will be entered into the raffle to win one of those keys. And I also have a key for Dream Cell that I'm going to be um, including in the raffle and if you'd like to consider being one of those things so that you can support the channel and vote on future content, have access to live stream VODs before they uh, get split up into episodes that are ad-free and also be entered into raffles to win keys that developers provide me. Uh, I love you if you would uh, think about that and you can support the channel for as little as a dollar a month. Um, it's up to you. 
I hope you all have an excellent evening or day, and I'm really enjoying this game. I'd love to talk to you. Are you playing this game? You know, have you made it further? Do you have any recommendations um, for me? Uh, am I doing anything just categorically wrong uh, that I could, you know, not misunderstanding anything that you could set me straight on? I'd love to get tips and tricks so that we can learn how to play this game. Everyone, take care.